Education wasn't even an issue in the in the streets of Tel Aviv. That and was, pardon me. That that was what I was trying to. That's, no, I know, I know. And so what's happened is that I mean it's weakened a lot, but the economic focus was where the center, Sipi Livni, and uh, the Labour Party and others were going in this election, not the occupation. Well. That's the, the economy, in a way, is Netanyahu's weak point. So, in fact, the attack on Gaza of a couple weeks ago was an attempt to change the whole, the whole, fo the whole focus of the election. So that, you know, in other words, once that happened, everything becomes security and rockets and Gaza and Hamas and everything else, and the whole economic agenda kind of disappeared, and it took away the main electoral uh, uh, issues from the Labour Party and, and the Zionist left. So that I think it was a partly a cynical approach, you know, attempt by, by Netanyahu to bring things back to security because that's where he's strong and not an economy. And finally, uh, there's a small group of people, <laughs> like me, who are on what I would call the critical Israeli left. We're not Zionists. In fact, most of us, I would say, support the one-state solution in different ways. Um, and, um, but we're, we're maybe, I would say on a sunny day, we're maybe 5,000 people. It's not a lot of people. But you know, I mean, a lot of you know that in the critical left in general, it's not a lot of, you know, you don't go out and get the masses. So I think we play an important role. We, we resist. 